infinity pool with gorgeous sunset views, manicured lawn, and state-of-the-art smart home features. Ah, now that's what I call the ultimate dream house. If you had all the money in the world, what would your million-dollar property look like? These not-so-humble abodes you're about to see aren't your typical five-bedroom, three-bath hillside mansions. They're so over the top, they've practically become tourist spots on their own. Let's take an exclusive tour of the 10 coolest houses in the world. What's up, Acnatics? This is Discovery Amuse, serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out-of-this-world fun facts. Our number one pick looks straight out of a classic cartoon, and you'll either love it or abhor it. But either way, you won't be able to take your eyes off of this property. So stick around for that. Let's do some house hunting. Don't look back! Ah! I look back! Ah! Number 10, Floating Seahorse. Imagine waking up to a brand new day, but instead of a lovely sunrise view, you're greeted by schools of fish and breathtaking marine life. About two and a half miles off the coast of Dubai is a chain of islands called the Heart of Europe, where the ultra-rich can get a chance to live underwater without even getting wet. One of the unique selling points of the island are these luxury houses called the Floating Seahorse Villas. These villas have three levels, upper deck, sea level, and underwater. Yes, the master bedroom and bath in the underwater level offers spectacular views of the man-made coral reefs, because there's nothing like doing a number two with live fish swimming in front of you. These villas took 5,000 hours of research and 13,000 hours of engineering and designing in order to turn the tables and for us humans to finally experience what it's like to be the ones inside an aquarium. Other features include an observation deck, a huge floating bed, and a stepladder leading down to the open waters. If you have $2.8 million to spare and want to be ogled by sea creatures while taking a shower, then the floating seahorse might just be the one you're looking for. Keep watching because our number one entry will transport you to the prehistoric era! Banuga ready! Number nine, living on a jet plane. Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back. Oh, it's living, not leaving. If you've ever wondered how it feels to live inside an actual airplane, then welcome to retired engineer Bruce Campbell's Skyworthy Sanctuary. In 1999, he bought a retired Boeing 727 and set it up on a 10-acre lot deep in the woods of Oregon. Bruce then converted it into a simple yet functional home complete with a living space, a sleeping area, a toilet, and this curious looking shower. The entry is via the aft air stairs, which are retractable and are retracted whenever I leave for an extended time. All in all, the fixer upper aircraft set him back around 220 grand. It might not look like much, but Bruce thinks it's a reasonable size for a small family. He says living in an airplane thrills him because it gives off this almost science fiction vibe to his otherwise ordinary existence. I can appreciate that some folks might feel a bit isolated or that it might simply strike them as an unusual living environment. But for me, it's always felt completely natural. Number eight, glass house. One of the things you look for in a home is privacy. But what if the four walls of your house are completely made of glass? This unconventional home in Tokyo, Japan, called the House NA, is entirely see-through. It's probably for the best that it's located in a quiet neighborhood because the only privacy you could get is from curtains that serve as temporary partitions between the interior and the curious tourists that purposely hunt down the unique building. The residents who live in this glass house who can't throw stones for obvious reasons wanted to experience living like nomads. So architect Sao Fujimoto drew inspiration from a tree house. Instead of the usual floor levels, House NA has 21 individual floor plates set up at various heights, making the residents look like birds perched on tree branches. These plates also serve more than one function. They can be used as a workspace or as seating, and they can also aid in the circulation around the house. 
Some are even equipped with in-floor heating for those cold winter months. We're there. <laughs> Number seven, letting it slide. If you're one of those people who likes to make a fool of themselves while sledding down the stairs, then meet your ultimate match. This rectangular building in the Nakameguro neighborhood in Tokyo may seem like a boring warehouse from the outside, but its interior is a dream come true for kids and kids at heart. Why, you ask? Because it's basically built around a three-story high slide. According to the homeowners of the Slide House, they wanted their family home to be a fun place for the kids to create epic childhood memories. People can choose which way they want to descend, either through a traditional staircase that lines one side of the house or via a gigantic slide that wraps around the other side. The parents wanted to maximize family time, so they commissioned an enclosed ball pit in the living area, a six meter long built-in sofa bench, and a reading nook that the whole family shares. Can someone get me the card of their architect, please? This fundamental question challenges our idea of what a building can be. Number six, Egg Nest. Rent can eat up a huge chunk of your living expenses, especially with the sky-high prices in megacities like Beijing, China. It poses a huge challenge for younger folks who have to move to the city for work. So, 24-year-old architect Dai Haifei thought of building an affordable living solution that's close to his workplace. The result? This egg-shaped sleeping pod. The egg house, which cost him about $900 to build, may look tiny at first glance, but it can actually fit a bed, a small night table, and a water tank. Haifei used bamboo to make the pod's frame. He then insulated it with wood chips and wrapped the outside with cut-up sleeping bags. The design is also entirely sustainable. He placed grass seeds on the cladding so the whole thing will be covered in greenery when they sprout. Haifei also installed solar panels to serve as his power source. I guess this ingenious young architect is everything he's cracked up to be. Don't mess with me, I'm one crazy mofo. Number five, Clock Tower Penthouse. If you've seen the movie The House with a Clock in Its Walls, then you probably know how annoying it is to be surrounded by ticking clocks all around the house. Wait there, Lewis! No, I have to come with you! No! There may be traps. I have the protection. But having giant clocks as your window? Now that's a different story. And with a panoramic view of Manhattan to boot, Shut up and take my money! Dubbed as the ultimate bachelor pad, this penthouse apartment located at the Clock Tower in Dumbo, Brooklyn, was acquired and designed by Esquire magazine in 2011 as part of their annual tradition of creating the ultimate sanctuaries for the modern man. And that's what the Esquire apartment is really all about. It's about spectacular space, having something really, really, truly unique that many don't have the opportunity to have. The apartment has not just one, but four clock faces, which provides a stunning view of the city from different angles. And in case you're wondering how big the clock faces are, here's none other than Margot Robbie to give us an idea. They are 14 feet tall. Huge. Two basketball players standing on top of each other. And if the clocks aren't enough to tickle your fancy, try taking the glass elevator going to the open air viewing deck that provides the best views of the NYC skyline. And because this was meant to be a successful single man's playground, they also threw in this interesting piece of interactive art that doesn't really make a lot of sense, but looks like a lot of fun to me. This is like stepping into the future. This is just insane. It's like a piano, it's like a keyboard. And these little like fragments of light kind of create a vortex around your touch. Number four, Hobbit Habitat. Fans of the Lord of the Rings don't have to be in the Shire to see a Hobbit house, or at least a replica of it as several people have built their own in various parts of the world. One of them is Simon and Jasmine Dale, who have created this hobbit home in Pembrokeshire, Wales. With the help of family and friends, 
Simon built this house in 2003 in just four months and on a budget of six grand. To keep the expenses low, the Dales foraged through the woodlands to pick up scrap wood to form the house's frame, floors, and fittings. We built a small, simple, modest house out of the things that were around us, out of the things that we could easily get from waste and from the natural world rather than going and buying things. Straw bales were used for the insulation system while a wood burner provides heat inside the home. A cool feature of this sustainable abode is that the fridge is actually cooled by the air under the ground. Through the years, the couple has also helped others build similar homes in the area to promote low-impact, sustainable living. Number three, seashell house, seashell house, seashell house, seashell house, seashell house. This is probably the closest thing you'll get to living life like a mollusk. This intricately crafted, fully functional home that looks like a seashell or a giant snail, depending on how you look at it, is called the Nautilus, located in the heart of Mexico City. Built in 2006, the Nautilus has a smooth front facade with a massive dome roof and white walls, one of which is covered in multicolored glass that lets in rainbow light effect. Stepping inside the home feels like entering someone's psychedelic induced mind with its winding pathways and staircases, eclectic furniture, splashes of color, and random patches of greenery dotting the living spaces. According to its builder and designer, Javier Senosyein, the house's ultimate goal is to make the residents feel like they're living inside a snail's shell, moving from one chamber to another. I guess squirming your way around the property will give you the full experience? Number two, the tightest space. Take a look at this wide shot of a Polish street. Notice anything weird? Yep. In that tiny slot in between the two buildings lies an actual house. The Carrot House in Warsaw, Poland is considered the world's narrowest house, although it's more likely considered as an art installation rather than a home. It started out as an artistic concept by architect Jakub Szczesna. He then decided to turn this idea into reality and actually built it into a thin apartment between two existing buildings to give struggling artists a free space to live and work. Carrot House is an insert with life into an empty dead space and this is something that excited me so much. Looking at the 4 foot 11 inch wide space, you would think that constructing a home is virtually impossible, but Jakub actually did it in three years. When it was completed, Jakub had to find an artist who would be brave and crazy enough to live in the tight space. Seemed like a tall order until he met Israeli writer Etzgar Carrot, after which he named the house. I got involved in the project because it seemed like an adventure and I feel like a uh... Indiana Jones in this uh, little adventure movie. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, Flintstone House. In a hilly community in Hillsboro, California, lies a bizarre residence that sticks out like a sore dinosaur thumb. How can it not? Fans of the Flintstones would definitely have a gay old time when they see this 2,700 square foot home made up of red and purple domes and curving lines. The interior is also made to look like a cartoon home with custom cut windows and stone walls. The home's owner, retired media mogul Florence Fong, surely went to town with all the yabba dabba decor outside the house when she bought the property in 2017. Giant, multicolored mushrooms, 15-foot dinosaur statues, huge animal sculptures, and a life-size figure of Fred Flintstone are dotted around the 28-acre lot. But Fong's favorite part of the house is the room called the Conversation Pit. Every time I walk in this room, and that's a high ceiling, 
and you sitting here, you just feel like yourself kind of small. However, it seems like the neighbors don't find it the least bit entertaining. They branded the property as a public nuisance and an eyesore and even filed lawsuits against Fong. Why shouldn't architecture that we do be fun? This is fantastic, and this is what Florence's uh, cause happened. So, if these homes were listed on Airbnb, which one would you absolutely book? Let us know in the comments section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? We sure love all things weird, and we know you do too, so go ahead and check out our list of the 10 people who live a strange life. Till then, stay avant-garde, fanatics, and see you in the next video.